Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you some of the scripts that I've added to this newest version. I'll go ahead and hit play here. I apologize ahead of time if the video is a little choppy. My computer kind of sucks, so it doesn't like recording things. So, um, one of the first ones I wanted to talk to you guys about was um, the object movable indicator. Um, all, that's just a, my fancy way of. Uh, saying that when I hover over an object I can manipulate you can see a little hand icon up here which is pretty cool so that'll help you show people and determine whether uh, the uh, objects are actually you can uh, if you can move them or not I always make these videos when it's late and I've been working on this stuff all day so I apologize if I sound like an idiot but um, the other one is the object uh, item pickup indicator, which is the same thing. I just put those on items that you can pick up. Um, sorry, it's lagging a little bit here. Um, and you can see there you got a little pickup hand. Um, and another script that I added is a text tooltip. So you'll see it actually says a key right there. Now, you can use one, both, either, neither, whatever. But it's just another thing that I thought I'd add in here um, for y'all to get some use out of. Um, so let me pick up that key so I can unlock the door. Um, the other things that I have here is, uh, God, I can't talk. The other script that I've added is called the flicker light script. Um, and it's going to allow you to make uh, lights that flicker and it's adjustable. I'll show you. I'll go and do a quick breakdown of all these scripts uh, once I'm done, kind of showing you them in action. But as you can see, there's a light down the hallway, and it's doing a little flicker, um, which is pretty sweet. So, um, and last but not least, is it's the, I have another script and uh, a couple other ones. Um, it's the play audio one shot. It's going to play an audio clip when the character enters a certain area once. Um, also it's gonna spawn something and then destroy that something once the character enters a certain trigger area so let me go ahead and walk forward <laughs> so I don't know if you saw that but or heard that or both but the uh, scary image of my face popped up and then a sound of a cat played that was pretty creepy and uh, then the, my face disappeared and the audio stopped so those are all good to get your little jump scares if that's what you guys are going for um, you can use it for a lot of different things um, so let me go ahead and exit out of that and kinda quickly go over the script so let's go ahead and do this make it bright so you guys can all see hopefully go back here to the beginning whoa man it is lagging hard okay that happens alright so let me go to my render settings and crank up the ambient light there we go now it's nice and bright and maybe let me check something real quick here sorry guys just wanna look at the quality see if it's turned all the way down uh... that might help so i'm gonna turn all the quality down so and see if that helps this run a little better uh, doesn't seem like it but in any case so um, the item pickup indicator so if I click on this key you'll see in addition to the key script that's been there the past few versions of this um, there's an item pickup indicator script and a text tooltip script um, it's pretty self-explanatory um, if you want an item that you can pick up to show the little pickup hand I selected my image you can use whatever pickup handing hand that looks like it's picking up stuff image that you want um, and you would just you know change it here um, and you just drop it on the object and then when the camera is pointing at it it will pop up with the little hand now for the little text part where it said a key it's the same thing you just drop it right on to whatever object you want and put in you click right here and you just type in what you want it to say and uh, that's pretty much it and then when you hover over it with the cursor which I have locked in the middle of the screen for this uh, demo here um, when you when you hover over the object it'll show the key um, it's the same exact thing for um, the movable objects I just wanted to help indicate in the game 
or in the project here that when you're how what objects you can actually manipulate with the mouse like open and close pick up or throw um, is the same thing I just dropped the object movable indicator which is a script right here and I just dropped that right on the door I selected an image that looked like a hand that I wanted to use and then now when I hover over that object it shows the hand which is pretty sweet so it's not a whole lot of new stuff um, one other thing uh, we'll go over here real quick and uh, the flicker light script so if I click on my light here you'll see there's the flicker light script and you have all these different settings to fine-tune it to how you want it to flicker um, and that's pretty much it and that's you just drag and drop the flicker light script onto any light source and there you go bada bing bada boom um, now for the uh, the scary trigger deal or that's what I'm calling it right here um, let's see Man, it is lagging hard sorry guys and gals um, let me minimize that so I can't see it right now okay Oh yeah, there we go. So there's actually a trigger here, um, the box collider. There we go. Now I can see it. So all I did was I created a uh, well, I created a cube, um, and then I deleted the render, uh, so you can't see it. Um, you could probably just create an empty object and put a box collider or whatever kind of collider you want on it. But I made it cover the area that the character or player would be passing through, and then I went ahead and made sure it was uh, labeled as a trigger and colliding and the trigger is both selected and then I dropped the spawn prefab script on there dropped an audio source script on there and the play audio one shot script on there and then I just for the audio one shot you just select whatever audio you want to play once and then here you've got offset so you can set these different um, deals to um, kind of fine tune where you want your whatever is popping up to pop up like my scary face I move that around so it appeared right in front of uh, the camera um, I'm gonna try to get into this now I I've been messing around with it but in order for it to work you're gonna want to make sure that my first person controller I have here I ha go ahead and select it and then you select uh, the tag and just make sure it's selected to player and then on your trigger where it says uh, effect I put, uh, I'm sorry, where it says cause, I went ahead and selected my first person controller, and then where I put ta in the taggery section here, I went ahead and labeled it player, make sure you spell it correctly, capitals where there's capitals or else it won't work, and then uh, the effect is the scare face, so that's the object that I wanted to pop up, which is my big ugly mug, so um, the one thing you're going to want to do about w to make sure you do with that is that it's a prefab that you put in there you can't just put in any asset because you'll get an error saying you know to avoid data loss it's not going to let you de you know destroy something so all I did was I created a box I threw my face texture on it I dragged it from the hierarchy into the project view here and it turned it into a prefab and then I deleted it from here and in the prefab um, let me go in here and find it if my computer is not frozen all right so I go into prefabs and then you can see here I have that scar face you can see it's the box with my ugly mug on it and then this is where the last part of you know making that all come together uh, happens you're gonna want to drop on that prefab the kill prefab script and you can select how much time you want it to wait once it's spawned before it's destroyed and then of course you want to select itself essentially so I just go ahead in here and I selected that uh, the, the the prefab's name and that's how it gets destroyed after it populates in the game so um, I think that's pretty much it let's see we went over the flicker light a little bit we went over the item pickup indicator how that works super easy object moved indicator which is exactly the same thing just a different uh, textured hand um, audio play one shot uh, the text tool tip the spawn prefab and the kill prefab so I'm gonna go ahead and upload this project f file um, in the usual place check the description below um, I want to thank a specific person um, let me go ahead and go into the forums here real quick 
and then I want to make sure I mention his name. Um, he was very nice to share the scripts that I used um, in this, which is the uh, <clears throat> the whole populating the scary face and the uh, destroying of it trigger deal. So that was uh, Jonas there. Um, he went ahead and shared that here on the forums um, under my area where I'm posting updates for this project but um, yeah so thanks Jonas for that um, really cool script you can probably I'm sure I'll be able to find even more uses for it um, but yeah alright well I'll go ahead and end this here sorry I can't talk when it's late and I should probably make these after I get a good night's sleep but um, you guys go ahead and um, have fun with it and you know if you if you want to see something else added let me know um, but check the description down below um, for a link to my personal project it's called the calling prologue um, it's gonna be a free-to-play first-person um, horror adventure game not very action-packed it's gonna have a lot of HP Lovecraft and mythos based stuff in it and uh, yeah I appreciate any support you guys can give you know like it like the videos if you like them and uh, like my uh, projects Facebook if uh, if you want to help me support it that'd be great alright guys uh, hope you enjoy